Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here, backing out with a brand new video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at how the Apple Watch Series 1 has held up on WatchOS 6.2.5 Developer Beta 2. Now before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Let's even hit 1000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in June. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. WatchOS 6.2.5 released a few weeks ago to registered developers following the release of iOS and iPadOS 13.4.5 developer beta. This update brought bug fixes and security patches, as well as some other general improvements. WatchOS 6.2.5 Beta 2 released this past Wednesday following the release of iOS and iPadOS 13.4.5 Beta 2, adding more fixes and improvements to the scene. Let me know down below in the comments what Apple Watch you use and what watchOS version you're running. With that out of the way, let's get straight into general performance. Overall, performance has been the exact same on watchOS 6.2.5 Beta 2 as it was on watchOS 6.2 on my Series 1 Apple Watch. I have noticed no improvement at all. Just like with iOS 13.4.5 Beta 2, this is not a bad thing. Performance on watchOS 6.2 is just fine. All of your day-to-day -day tasks such as controlling music, opening a few apps, closing apps, swiping through watch faces, and force touching throughout the watch OS should perform just fine. Just like with iOS 13.4.5 Beta 2, animation speeds have also been exactly the same. They don't seem to be any smoother, however they're not any choppier than before either. And this is good news as well, especially as these watches are getting older. Animations such as swiping through the home screen, scrolling through list view, scrolling through the watch faces, opening and closing the notification and control centers, etc. all run very smoothly. Battery life on watchOS 6.2.5 Beta 2 has been amazing. I've noticed that I've been losing a lot less battery life throughout the day. I always wake up with 100% and will normally be left around with 50-65% to 65 at the end of the day. However, on watchOS 6.2.5, I've noticed that my battery will only go down to around 65-75% to 75 by the end of the day. Now this is amazing to see. If you're a light to medium user, you can definitely pull off a full day on your Series 1 or Series 2 Apple Watch while on watchOS 6.2.5 Beta 2, and if you're a heavy Apple Watch user, while you may be able to pull off a full day, I'd always recommend keeping your charger with you. Now, should you update? Well, my answer is simply no, and here's why. When you update to a watchOS beta, it's nearly impossible to go back. The only way you'd be able to downgrade if something were to happen or if you just wanted to go back would be to take it to an Apple store, which may not even be an option for most people right now. Now, if you are fine with this, then I'd say there's no reason not to update. WatchOS 6.2.5 Developer Beta 2 has been great so far, and it's looking like a pretty solid release. Now this may be one of the very last updates that the Series 1 and Series 2 Apple Watches get, so let's hope that it ends off well. As always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like on the video, and if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.